Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study in my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign and she boring Love the way you twerking shawty Throwing money on her own I call her independent shawty What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel Ami Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7 We are here today because uh there's a car here in the special dealer that uh, I've been definitely wanting here on Forza 7 and it is here and it is time to build a drift car out of it. No, it is not 2010 Aston Martin or the Jaguar. It is the 1987 Nissan Skyline GTS R31. Uh, I definitely have this car in Horizon 3 and it is so much fun to slide. So uh, we're going to buy this. We're going to build it up. We're gonna get it sideways and maybe hit a uh, online session with it. But first, we gotta get this thing built up, and it does have the wide body upgrade. So let's uh, go straight to that. Go straight to the body kit. Throw on that wide body, and uh, well, not really wide body, just fender flares, and. Uh, Let's keep building this thing. We're going to keep it a stock motor. I believe I wanted to keep it stock and built up. Uh, I don't really like the chin spoiler. And uh, I do like this factory wings. So we're going to leave all that on there. We're going to leave everything else. What was that again? Oh, rain guards. We're going to keep those off. And we are going to put this thing, uh, keep it on stock tires. And uh, keep them at 225s. We'll put the rears at 245s. We're definitely gonna have to throw some uh, some wheels on this thing. Not sure what I want to do. If I want to throw on some 1552s or something a little bit nicer or more spokes. Not sure if I'm looking for rotiforms or not. Probably not. I may go with some uh, very spooky. Oh, well, you know, we'll go with those. Those are okay. Stick those on for right now. Get into the nitty gritty of tuning this thing. We are probably going to fully max this sucker out as high as we can. And uh, definitely get this thing sideways. It was a lot of fun in Horizon 3, uh, drifting this thing. Uh, one of my favorite older drift cars, especially when it came out of the car pack. Glad to see it here in Forza 7. I thought it was, but uh, now it's uh, officially in Forza 7 for me because uh, I didn't have it before, and now we do. Oh, we gotta fully lighten this sucker up, make this as light as possible. And now we are going to just probably max this power out. Because this car sounds amazing too. So definitely can't wait to hear this thing scream on the track. Did get my wheel issues figured out and sorted out. So that's definitely a good thing because I don't really know what happened. Just had to unplug everything, reset everything. Like I said, uh, it's happened to me before. I have had this wheel for a good four years now and I use it all the time so it might be time to upgrade to something newer but uh definitely uh not sure if I want to do that yet but I may have to pull the trigger on that some time soon 500 horse 510 510 horse in this thing uh it's gonna be a little monster we gotta make sure it is real drive and now we're gonna Slam it as far as we can get it and then take it to the track. Haven't decided where I want to take this thing yet, but uh Definitely gonna be fun nonetheless. We're gonna drop these tire pressures down Leave gearing until we know what's going on and we're gonna throw our basic tune on that I always throw on all these cars and work it from there. I probably could have transplanted my horizon 3 tune over but I Wanted to do a fresh slate on this because I did find out the horizon 3 tunes are pretty good when you put them on here in Forza. That car's really low. <laughs> this car's gonna scrape. I can already see it now. Hopefully it is as good as I'm hoping it will be. Hopefully this is not just a uh, complete botch of an episode. 
But uh, we shall see here in a moment. All right, we got our tune set. Yep, nice and tucked. And uh, let's go into free play. Find out where we're gonna go. We are not gonna go to Rio. We were just in Rio, Prague, Nuremberg. Jello seems like it could be fun. Screw it. We're gonna hit. Well. Hmm. I don't know. Second guessing Magello. Yeah, screw it. Let's go to Magello Circuit. And, uh. Magello, Magello. I know I'm probably butchering the name on that, so. Definitely super excited for this car. It's such an old, classic, nice drift car, so let's hopefully it, uh. Slides as good as I hope it does. That wheel cam turned on. We got everything. Everything should be good to go. Should have our shifter, our wheels straight. We should be good. We got our handbrake hooked up. We're good. Ooh. Oh, hear that turbo flutter. That is why I like this car. All right, we are good. Everything on our wheel and everything is good. Handbrake's good. There we go. Uh, time to send it into the first turn. Oh, yep. Did not expect it to slide like that. Okay. So, I think we need to change the tune on this a little bit. I'm not sure if the suspension settings I have on there is right. Although, it does feel good once you get it right, so it may have just been me. Maybe over throw in the car. There we go. Yup. I stand corrected. It was me. It was me just overthrowing this car. This car slides so nice right now. Trying to, oh, I can't believe those points were dropping it down there, but... It's all right, we'll just keep it going. Nice and flowy, getting all the sideways in this car. Can't tell me that this car does not sound sick. And look cool doing it. Let's uh, change up the view. Little first person. My biggest pet peeve is that steering wheel. Listen to that turbo. We're going to drift and hood you just to hear that turbo. And that is one of the reasons I like this car so much is just the way it sounds. I mean, listen to that. You can't deny that that's not a good sounding car. And we're getting it here on the hood view. Ooh. See if we can't go back into first person. Alright, you break that too soon, but we'll be able to hold it. Still hear the turbo flutter. Yup. We got it. We're good. I think this setup is pretty good and dialed. Um, yep, I have fun with this car. It's definitely an anticipated car for me when I saw it hit the uh, special car dealers. So if you don't have one, pick yourself up one. You will enjoy every minute of this car. Yup, this thing is just getting sideways. I think we may have to take this onto an online lobby, but definitely going to probably be outclassed because this is more of a lower powered car, but it is fun to drift lower powered cars for sure. I do enjoy street style cars with lower power. So I think we're going to try and send this to a public hopper and uh, see where we can place in a pack after this section. 
right here. Uh, I mean, totally messed that up. Car just throws it though. So we're gonna go hit a public hopper. So I'll catch you guys when I find the hopper. So we did find a hopper here. It is going to be Maple Valley short in the rain. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for the rain. So uh, definitely uh, gonna be throwing this one in in the rain here and see how that she slides. Uh, hopefully we don't get rammed into a lot. But we do have some guy in her truck. Ooh, another guy in the 87 Skyline. Okay, here we go. M3, Camaro, 240. Another 240, full, uh, ready for war. S14, 97 Mazda. So I think we're in a pretty decent lobby for older cars. It's cool there's another 87 in here. So get that wheel cam turned on. And uh, we're going to send it. Maple Valley short in the rain. 500 some horsepower. 1987 Skyline. Oh boy. <laughs> we are in the back too. It looks like. Okay. We are back here with the other Skyline. So hopefully we can somewhat stay out of all the issues. And get pumped into right away. There we go. Try and send this in. Was not ready for that. Don't hit me. Oh god. I hit the braces. I didn't want him to hit me. I was definitely in the wrong gear, I think. Definitely so much different in the rain. The car does not handle nearly as well as I want it to right now in this rain. I don't think I have this car set up for rain, but we're, we're still going to try and continue it. Try and tackle this rain. Ooh, those puddles. Definitely throw you around. Please bank those. Oh, these two are getting into it right now. Try and get past them. There we go. See if we can't get a good entry here. Enter in early because of the wet weather. Car struggling to stay sideways in the rain, which you would think wouldn't be an issue, but the rain is definitely making this car a lot more difficult to drive, but we're getting it. We're definitely trying to tackle this beast here in the rain. I just realized we are up in second place. So as I say, we are trying to struggle to keep this car together. We are creeping up on first. Uh, yep. Okay, so two out of ten. We are in first. See if we can't enter in here again. Rain's making it very difficult for me to see my lines on when I should enter, but we got it. We take first for a minute, and then we're tailing right behind this guy. Whoever is in first is just ahead of us. Oh my gosh, is that the other skyline? That is the other skyline. You son of a... Mm, not gonna get mad. He's trying to get tandems. Old Skyline tandems. I'm okay with this. Where we go? Just don't hit me, man. I mean, I am in second by a lot. That man back there getting doors with me in that other Skyline. Huge entry. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. That was almost a perfect entry and that man made us lose all our points. But you know what? It's all right. No big deal. 
give him credit for getting indoors with me and trying to creep up there. He didn't look like he did it on purpose, so I can't get mad at him. And you know what? It's just an online hopper. Not a big deal. But uh, somehow we took first. Are we going to get a W? I mean, we're up 4,000 points on this guy. Oh, man. Don't lose those points. Please don't lose those points. We are 10,000 up in first here at Maple Valley in the rain with this skyline. Um, I definitely want to be able to stay up here and take this W. This skyline is so much fun. This rain is making it so much different, but so much fun at the same time. Speeds are down. Speeds are a lot slower. Don't need much power to drift here. And we're just sending it, sending as much as we can. I mean, we're banking 10,000 points on these sections. Easy in this car. Oh yeah. We got three minutes left. We're 4,000 points in first. We just gotta keep it. We gotta make sure we don't mess up these big sweepers because these are huge points turns here at Maple Valley. We're good there. We got it, we're good. My brave trying to link these, but you know, full send right now. Here <laughs> at Maple Valley in the rain. We are first in this public hopper. I know there's only 10 people on it, but it's the closest we've ever been to taking a win in a public drift hopper, but that man's catching up on me real quick. We may lose this in the last few minutes. Oh, it's a it's definitely a battle between him and I right now. And of course this other skyline's probably gonna tag me. Yep. And that puts us that's exactly took us out of first. Oh, uh, we had it to I should have let him go before me. I almost thought we threw those points away. That man is definitely creeping way ahead of me now. If I wouldn't have gotten tagged, I probably would be up there right now, but unfortunately we got tagged. Oh, there's first place right there I don't want to hit him oh what happened did he just pit he did but he didn't lose his points so if I would have hit him I probably could have taken first again but that would have been the greasiest and cheap move I've ever done so we'll just happily take our second place and uh, be good that we are on podium here at Maple Valley in the rain. That man in that truck. I thought he was. I thought the truck was gonna be a ram runner, but he is definitely a drifter for sure in that truck. But we are catching him again. I don't know how. It's coming down to the last 30 seconds of this competition. We have first with 24 seconds to go. I don't know how we caught up on points. I need to get a send on that first turn. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. Seven seconds, five, four, three, two. He's way ahead of us. Uh, I guess we will probably take second place here at Maple Valley in the rain. That was intense. This car in the rain, a lot of fun. Definitely recommend picking yourself up one. We will take second. Uh, kudos to that man. Definitely uh, sending that truck sideways. So, if you guys know, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All that you found in the description box below. If you guys like what you see and want to see more, don't forget to tap that like button. Subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. So, until next time, guys.
I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out of breath. That was intense. And I'm out. Do, do, do.